In today's YouTube video, I'm gonna show you why Nickel Over and Nickel Over G combined are the only covered scheme you need in Madden 23. Let's get into it. What's up guys, Sam, Sam Madden YouTube channel. And the Nickel Over G is the defense that I've been in all year. I talk about it in every video, so I'm not gonna to waste too much of your time here today. Let's get straight into today's topic about why I think using the Nickel Over G with the Nickel Over is going to be such a valuable tool for you guys. Now you guys know that I like the Nickel Over G because it is considered to be a three safety rule defense. Now, if you missed last week's video out of the dollar where we talked about how to blitz against empty sets, I showed you guys a package that we activated in that particular defense that allowed you to create different safety adjustments for the purpose of defending meta formations, whole shots down the sidelines, corners, tight formations, etc. Now in today's video, we're gonna take it back to a little bit more of a base rush for those of you that want to get into a four down lineman set but i'm going to show you why the nickel over and the nickel over g are two peas in a pod right here so let's kind of start off here with the over g my favorite defense, you can see that I've got 11,000 calls. Uh, this is just in the last couple months. I recently cleared my play call data to kind of reset everything and figure out exactly where my bread is buttered, what I'm doing well, what needs work. So in terms of over G, you guys see this is pretty much a base defense and I make a million different adjustments out of it. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a few of the coverage rules that I will use, but I am not teaching any of the matching principles. If you guys do not know the matching principles out of this particular defense, I would strongly urge you Guys, go check out the May Vault on Gridiron Game Plans where you can unlock the entire website and see everything I've done all year for $9.95. But let's talk about one of the things that actually kind of irritates me about the Big Nickel Over G as it pertains to covered setup. So while I love my Big Nickel Over G for the ability to create my inverted cover three defense, one of the bigger things that irritates me about this formation is that there's a lot of times where I'd like to take this nickel corner and put him into a hard flat. And that is where today's video about fusing this defense along with the nickel over is going to be so key because in the big nickel over G, if you take a look at the slot corners adjustments in this formation, he is considered the third safety on the field. So when you take a look at these adjustments, he's got outside thirds left, right, middle third, deep half left and right, mid read man coverage and blitz. Now. The truth is the vast majority of these adjustments aren't something that I will utilize. I do like the thirds, whether it's a middle third or rolling him out to the outside third from the slot. And a lot of times I will do something that kind of resembles this from a coverage role standpoint. This allows me to keep my two high safeties closing center field and not have to rely on a linebacker. Even a safety at linebacker is slower to drop deep down the middle than a safety that is already up top. So. Um, I will utilize this to kind of keep my linebackers underneath for the purpose of better run defense, keeping them in the run fit, but also just giving myself a little bit better height in the short middle area of the field while protecting myself deep in the middle area of the field. But one of the bigger weaknesses is that if I decide that I would like to kind of roll my coverage a specific way, let's say that I want to roll my coverage left from the right, what you will end up noticing with this is that I don't have the ability to cover the flat with this slot corner. So this is a huge, huge problem as it pertains this defense. If I'm kind of trying to create this on the fly, I really don't have the ability to do this with the exception of maybe choosing something like cover three. Now, the downside to calling the cover three is that one, you kind of have this immediate tell. I will base a line from time to time to kind of make this happen. But even if I wanted to kind of invert my coverage and uh, do this, I don't have the same hook zones on the field, which is a big deal. In fact, it's a deal breaker for me as it pertains to this defense. A hook curl and a vertical hook, which is found in a cover two, are not the same thing, not even remote. So with the big nickel over G, one of the things that you can do is actually use a formation that is called slot CB. And what this does is it kind of tricks the game into thinking, okay, now that slot corner that was the third safety is now actually a corner. So when we take a look at our slot corners adjustments, it now resembles a more standard nickel over defense, which has the slot corner rolls being seam flat, hard flat, curl flat, vertical hook, Bluff Blitz, Blitz, QB Spy, and Man Coverage. That's great, except the problem is when we turn this package on, it also reverts our safeties back to 
the standard safety rules, which are deep half, inside third, inside quarter, man, spy, blitz, and hook curl. Those are great for certain scenarios, but not really that useful against the meta. Even a man coverage player tends to like to run three safety rule coverages because they could put those safeties in thirds to the outside of the field to help better bracket a corner route that would oftentimes be a man underneath coverage. So a lot of players really like having these outside third adjustments that we have made popular all year long on Gridiron and here on the YouTube channel through the three safety rule package. So what do you do if you wanna fuse those two particular coverages together to get yourself kind of a one-stop shop? Enter the nickel over defense. The most popular defense in the beginning of the year was the nickel over. And the reason for that is that it was one of the easiest to blitz from formations in the game. Simply pinch your defense, blitz a linebacker, user the other, and if they go five out with their offensive approach, you will end up with free pressure off the edge, and that's something that they have to respect. So this is one of the best blitzing formations due to the ease of setup. It's literally basically one step, it's technically two, but it's so quick to set up. But the problem with the nickel over is that we kind of thought it was a little bit lax from a coverage standpoint. And the truth is maybe the opposite. So let's go ahead and show you guys something. Not only does the nickel over have the free safety one inside package, which is going to turn on the three safety rule. So if we go ahead and take the field here, you're gonna notice that my safeties now have outside thirds left and right, middle third, mid read, man coverage, halves left and right, and blitz. It's got the true three safety rule combo. But take a look at the slot corner that the game believes is a safety. Note here how he keeps the slot corner adjustments despite being a safety. So he's got seam flat, hard flat, curl flat, vertical hook, QB spy, bluff blitz, man, and blitz. We're now in a three safety package where I can actually, from the start of the video, you guys recall, I said, one of the biggest weaknesses about three safety rule nickel is that the nickel can't play a hard flat. Well, now he can. And we're right back in a spot where now I can go ahead and roll my coverage with ease. If I wanna go ahead and basically on the fly make adjustments, I can. I can roll my coverage left, I can roll it right, I can invert it even. So if I wanted to do something like this, this is a possibility as well, where I can kind of just sit like this. You can, out of this package, do anything you want and be in good shape. But that's not all. That's not all at all. So take a look at this. We also have a package here in the nickel over that is called the big nickel. The big nickel is essentially the same thing. If we go ahead and take a look, safety adjustments or three safety rule, we take a look here, same deal. We take a look here, same deal. Slot corner keeps his slot corner adjustments. But sometimes with these packages, the slot corner will turn into a safety. Uh, it's kind of hard to illustrate, but there are certain formations where randomly, all of a sudden the game treats the nickel corner like a safety. Take for instance, tight formations where you see that my slot corner now all of a sudden has those three safety assignments where, oh man, okay, well, I want him in that slot hook roll. So what do I do? This is where the best part of this video comes in. So check this out. If we take a look at the package in the nickel over that is known as the strong safety linebacker swap package, you'll note that my right of screen linebacker is a strong safety you see that when we have a regular package or a default package up number 37 is my strong safety and when we activate this strong safety linebacker swap package it puts my strong safety one at linebacker what this does is it tricks the game into knowing that now once again we have three safeties on the field but that third safety is not our slot corner it is this linebacker right here so take a look at this our safeties up top three safety rule adjustments. Our middle linebacker, regular linebacker adjustments. Our slot corner keeps slot corner adjustments against the formation where the three safety rule kind of bugs out and flip flops on us, right? And we get some crazy utility out of a linebacker now becoming our third safety on the field, which allows us to put him in outside thirds, left or right, deep halves left or right, middle thirds, in mid-read zones. 
So now we take a look at something like this where you're thinking, okay, let's do kind of a funky coverage role. And you outside third, you're basically your linebacker, your will linebacker on this play. And maybe roll this guy up and press coverage, get a reroute. Now all of a sudden you can kind of roll your coverage all the way over to the side that they're going to flood on the short side. And you're going to be in a real good place if they decide to even try to do something, you know, like uh, a post route from the backside. You can kind of let this happen. And you see that now that X route, they might read that safety and say, oh, I've got this. They throw it over the top. And this is where you can get really exotic with this because you might be keying in from an offensive perspective on this post route. You're thinking, okay, you're reading the safety. Boom, right here. I can go ahead and throw this post route over the top. Why? Because if we look at the only corner on the right side of the field, he's playing a cloud flat. Until you realize that right here, our weak side linebacker is dropping into a deep, deep third. To even the most advanced Madden player, they're gonna think, okay, well, the only thing this guy could be in would be a zone dropped purple, right? No, this is a deep zone from a linebacker to the outside right. So this is gonna allow you to be in a spot where you can kind of close some gaps on the field and just kind of play some games with your coverage role while keeping the most important principles of the inverted cover three. Again, at the end of the day, we can still be an inverted cover three. We can also basically roll our coverage like you see right here and then still play this guy on the backside in a hard flat. We are in a real good position to be able to make this work, rolling our coverage left or right, but also keeping our nickel corner with slot adjustments. It's absolutely massive for this defense. Again, this is all zone, just pure drop zone based logic here that I've talked about in this video, no matching principles. If you guys want to become totally locked down in this coverage scheme, I'm telling you, I called basically the plays and the coverage concepts I've shown you right here, 95% of the game, and I locked down the best offenses easily, tight, bunch trips u trips under center you got run defense from this type of defense go to gridiron game plans check out the may vault where i talked about the inverted cover three match in a seminar to help you guys understand how the vert hooks how the mid reads how the thirds match in this a lot of players think that match is just cover four quarters palms cover six and cover nine i would argue the best match coverage is the inverted cover three match so take a look at this package learn these setups learn your different inputs and you can start playing your best defense of the year heading right into next year and honestly this is a defense that's been really overlooked by a lot of players and uh probably a good base defense to start off in madden 24. so let's get after it until next time this is zan get the lab in good luck <laughs>